As some of y'all know, the SHVR's One Piece line did not start off the best. The first two releases just had horrible QC issues and design choices, but the latest two releases of Sanji and Yamato have been much better. And with those two being better, it gave me hope that the next fix coming up would be good as well. The next figure up to release after Yamato was the King of the Beast, Kaido. When they revealed Kaido, I was like, holy shit. I was not expecting them to make such a big figure or villain so soon. And when they put him on display at their events, we can see just how massive a figure this guy is. He looks so good and has some good size to him. So the only questions left was, does he suffer from horrible QC issues and design choices as some of the previous figures have? Or is this figure as good as it looks? Let's find out. Kaido's box is massive. It literally takes up my entire desk. It's bigger than me. His box is so damn beautiful. I really love how this box is designed. The box is a white and dark bluish purple color scheme. The white parts in the box are matte themed, so it's as if the box was wrapped in matte. There's some nice big pictures of the fig right on the front. On the top, there's a straw hat cutout that they've been doing on all the One Piece SHVRs releases. The left of the box has the name of the figure and then a picture of him as well. And the right side of the box seems to showcase all the faces that this figure comes with. The bottom of the box has a big image of the figure. The back of the box fully showcases the figure, the accessory it comes with, and some of the poses you can put him in. This really is a beautiful box. I really hate to open it, but I'm ready to play with this figure, so let's free the King of the Beasts. I'd like to mention that Kaido and his accessories are neatly packed into his clamshell. Also, you guys can see his tail, mustache, and cape all need to put on after you open them. So, we will do that now. His little whiskers just plug right into his face, but I did have trouble right out of the box putting them in. The fit is a little snug, so be careful when trying to force them in. You can soak the face in hot water for a little bit, and then plug them in. Next, let's put on Kaido's tail. All you gotta do is find Kaido's little booty hole and plug the tail in. The tail was also annoying as fuck to put on, because the joint kept moving. Eventually I got it on, and it's on, but I feel like it could be on better, as it doesn't click on it, it kinda just sits in the hole, so it feels like it kinda loosely just connects. Now, let's assemble the cape. The cape comes with four different pieces. Just plug each part of the cape into his respective joint. To put the cape on Kaido's back, I'd recommend taking off his head, and then you can plug it in easier. Once the cape is on, we can finally have Kaido's look complete. And man, does he look amazing. They did such a phenomenal job with the sculpt and likeness of the figure. Kaido's horns are beautifully painted with a dark blue that fades on the top of them. They made his hair long and wild. He has sculpted scales all throughout his body, but only the ones around his chest and shoulder area have a darker blue painted over them. And anime it's like that, and I think sometimes they're fully colored in certain frames. So, I think it's accurate. Either way, even if they fully painted it, it'd be accurate. And it being like this, I think it's still accurate. The chest abdomen area is beautifully sculpted and has some nice shading on it. I just love how deep they sculpt this scar. It looks so badass. Odin and Zoro really fucked his shit up. On his arms, Kaido's spiked wrist cuffs are a painted gold and are actually pretty sharp. They seem to be sculpted in and glued on, so you don't have to worry about them sliding or falling off. Kaido's belt area looks really good, and his chains are actually made out of die cast metal. I do wish the upper skirt piece had some sort of shade on it though, because it does look a little bland. His cape is also something I feel like that needs more paint as well. It's just a solid chunk of colored plastic, and it would greatly benefit from a little shading. It's so weird to me that a figure of this much money doesn't have paint all throughout the figure. It's like how the SHF Grade 8 Vegeta was. As for Kaido's build, it's perfect. They nailed his proportions perfectly. From his massive upper body into his little dragon feet. As for his tail, it is very long and looks really good. The little hair end piece on the tail isn't on the best though and can fall off fairly easily. And as y'all can see, the way the tail sticks out will definitely make it hard to display on a shelf that isn't that wide. And this figure is huge. Like he can wear one of my newborn baby diapers. What's wrong, Kaido? <laughs> Oh, I know. You just want your bottle, huh? Here you go. Very happy that they made this figure as big as he is. Since he is a big figure, this figure is heavy. A very important thing I'd like to mention is that he feels great. He doesn't feel cheap, and his limbs sure as hell don't fall apart when I try to move them. I was honestly scared that since this figure is so big and heavy, that he would fall apart or be loose, but thankfully they made his joints strong. Another thing I was scared of was him not being able to stand, but he stands really well because of his tail. Even without his tail, he can still stand up on his own. So that's good we don't have to use the display base to just have him stand. I literally broke out in a sweat putting this figure together, but other than that, this figure is actually really great. This is a beautiful figure and the likeness proportions are spot on, and I'm having so much fun playing with him. Now, 
let's go ahead and look at his accessories. First, he comes with six interchangeable face plates. He comes with an angry teeth gritted face, an evil smiling face, an open mouth face that seems to me like he's laughing or yelling, another mouth open face, but this face is open much more and this can be used as like a yelling or a shooting a fire blast from his mouth face. Then he comes with a crying face when he's in his drunken feelings such as when he thought he killed Luffy. And then he comes with the drunken beggar face. This face is really goofy and funny. I'm glad that this figure came with a goofy face because all One Piece figures must come with some kind of goofy face. All the faces look really good and they capture his likeness perfectly. Like they did such a great job detailing his eyes. His eyes are really small, but they didn't get sloppy with the paint at all. But the only issue I have with the faces is that you have to swap his mustache and beard piece every time when you want a face swap. This is really tedious because I like to be able just to swap and play. Instead, you're going to do a fair amount of work just to do a simple face swap. Despite having to do that extra work, it is worth it because his faces all look so damn amazing. Next, Kaido comes with eight interchangeable hands. He comes with two fisted hands, two open relaxed hands, a finger pointed hand, which can be used to create his drunken beggar scene, or just to use to point at a motherfucker. Next, he comes with an open grasping hand that is made to hold his sake. It's very awesome that they included his liquor, because Kaido is always drinking, so this is essential with a Kaido fig. Now that I'm thinking about it, why didn't Zoro come with some? Lastly, for hands, Kaido comes with two weapon holding hands, which are used to hold his kenobo. Sorry if I butchered the pronunciation of that. Or in English, his giant metal spike club. This thing is probably the biggest action figure weapon I own. It's literally a couple inches longer than the SHF Luffy. I think they did a good job with it. It has nice detail all throughout it and the spikes are nice and strong. This thing definitely has some weight to it. You could use this as a weapon in real life. Shit, let me show y'all its destructive power of this by beating the fuck out of SHF Luffy. To put the club in Kaido's hand, the bottom ring part pops off so you just slide the bottom of the club into his hand. And Kaido can hold his club really well, like he doesn't need both arms to hold it. This isn't hollow or anything, this figure is just really strong and I'm glad. Because now it's even more fun to put him in action poses without having to worry about his arms not supporting his weapon. Now, an issue with the hands I've noticed is like they don't go on all the way, and if you aren't careful you can pop them off while trying to move them. And be careful when putting the hands on, because it requires a little force, and you will need to grab the arms to put them on, but the spike wrist cuffs make it a little challenging. Kaido then comes with a display base to help support him. I don't ever use it because he stands pretty well on his own, but when I want to put him in an action pose, I definitely use it for that extra stability. And of course, what is an SH Figure Arts One Piece release without some Luffy DLC face plates? Am I right? Because Kaido sure as hell comes with one. Kaido comes with a Luffy knocked unconscious face. I think it looks good, but the skin tone on the face doesn't match the Luffy body. But I'm still happy that he comes with his face because now I can have more fun posing these two together. Overall, for accessories, I'd say they are good. He comes with everything he should, and comes with some really good faces. I definitely like some sort of fire blast effect though, and I feel like for the price of this figure, he should have came with one, or maybe in a hockey clash effect that could go on this club. I'm still completely satisfied with his accessories though, so now let's tackle his articulation. Despite his size, Kaido's articulation is actually pretty solid, but it is limited in some areas. His head doesn't look up too far, but his back hair piece is on a joint so he can move it up to give the head a little more range. It isn't much more, but it's still something. His head doesn't look down at all either. And I ran into an issue with the face coming off really easy when I tried to move the head around, and that is definitely frustrating. His head can look side to side fairly well, and his hair piece are able to move, so it doesn't hinder the side to side head movement. But if you move the head too far to the side, they can easily pop off. His neck doesn't go far back, but it can go a decent way forwards. The neck articulation makes up for the head not being able to look down. Kaido's shoulders can move up this far, and they aren't hindered at all by his cape because the shoulder pieces articulate so they can move out of the way to not hinder any shoulder movement. While we are talking about the cape, his cape can articulate on the joints where each piece of the cape attached to. He then has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and wrist movement. His diaphragm articulation isn't good at all as it hardly moves, but one of the best things about this figure's articulation is how good the waist movement is. It can move well all around and really helps the figure get into some good poses. As y'all can see, Kaido's legs are not typical legs. He's got some freaking bird legs. His legs can go this far forwards, this far backwards, and then this far outwards. Then his knees can bend this far, and at the bottom of the pants, there's a cast swivel. I feel like they should have added another joint right here for more mobility, but I could see why it could mess with the stability of the figure. He then has some pretty good ankle mobility, and each of his little Kaido toes can move around. Be careful with the toes though, because I've had them pop off sometimes, and when they land on the floor, it can be a pain that has to find. Kaido still has some joints on it, but honestly, they don't really add too much to it. 
This figure is huge and heavy, but his joints are sturdy and smooth. He gets great mobility for being such a big figure. Tamashi did a really good job with this guy's articulation. Now, I know you all want to see some figure comparisons. First, here is Kaido next to SHV Arts Luffy. The size difference is actually insane, and I really love just how well they scale together. Here is Kaido next to SHF Zoro and Sanji. Now, I don't own Yamato, but luckily Radical Canyon on Instagram was kind enough to show Kaido and Yamato side by side. I think they scale pretty well. Thanks again to Radical Canyon for these clips. Y'all make sure to check him out, because he really has done some really clean shots with Kaido. Here is next to Anime Heroes Brook. Here is next to Imagination Works Luffy. Here is Kaido next to Storm Collectibles Yujiro. Yujiro Hama versus the King of the Beast Kaido would be an amazing fight. And then here is Kaido next to this perfect grey Gundam. Overall, this is an amazing figure. He just stands out and looks so beautiful. His size alone sets him apart from anything in my collection. But what also sets him apart is just how good he looks. The sculpt work is really good. They did a great job with attention to detail on his figure, such as how good his scar looks. All of his faces are amazing and the likeness is spot on. His accessories do seem a little lacking, but it comes with what is essential for this figure. I just like some effect pieces. Despite his size, he actually articulates really well and is fun to play with. He doesn't feel cheap at all. Now, having to swap the mustache, Reese's faceplate sucks and is annoying, and the tail doesn't stay on the best, but it's not like it constantly falls off or is fell off for me. It just sits a little too loose for my liking. Other than those issues, this figure is amazing. As of right now, I'd say it's the best figure in the One Piece SHV Arts line. I am so hyped for Gear 5 Luffy. I'm ready to see how that figure is, and I can't wait to have a matchup with Kaido. I got my Kaido on Amazon Japan for $227 total. I think he's still on there, but it could be for a little more. Or you guys could check Ami Ami because I think he might be on there. Or you could get the US release, which is $240 on Amazon. But the question is, is he worth the price? I'd say yeah, especially if you are a One Piece fan. Honestly, you can't take my eyes off this figure. He's just so beautiful. Also, I'd say get this figure because I'm not that big on boxes, but his box is breathtaking. Like, if you are an inbox collector, you are going to want to get this figure. But yeah, Kaido is a fantastic figure and has really exceeded all my expectations because part of me was expecting a shit show of QC issues, but thankfully, that was not the case. Get this figure if y'all have the money. I have nothing else to say except, y'all say it with me now, One Piece is on top.